As technology rapidly develops, the University of Iowa hospitals and clinics keeps pace. When it comes time to replace old equipment, they have choices of where to send it. One of those choices is the Wider Net Project, which donates old computers, still in good condition, to developing countries in Africa. It, it, it's, it's done sparingly. It's been a couple of years since we've gotten anything from them. Uh, and, uh, but when we were first starting out, nursing was great. They, they gave us a few hundred computers uh, when we first started out over, over a couple of year time. Um, and that really helped us get the program up and going. The initiative was sparked nine years ago after director Cliff Misson spent time in Africa as a visiting professor, where he witnessed the restricted access to information via the internet and felt called to make a change. So um, a lot, our first couple of shipments went to Nigeria, where we had some linkages with universities there. We sent a cargo container to Liberia, which is a country um, that's recently come, in, uh, come out of uh, 16 years of civil war just totally, totally shredded, absolutely shredded country. Um, and then we had a, we sent a shipment off to Ethiopia, um, and that was, you know, 300 computers divvied up by nine different universities who then went and set up their own computer labs and installed our digital library. You know, having, an having a relationship with an organization like UIHC or UHIC is great in the sense of you know, especially if we can say, okay, we're, every year we're going to get 200 computers from this group and they're all going to be the same variety and type, making our life a whole lot easier in terms of getting them refurbished and out the door. Maybe someday we'll be in a position where we can actually, we have the infrastructure to handle all that, but uh, we don't today. Despite Misson's lack of resources to support mass donations from UIHC, there is still another option, University Surplus, who takes not only computers, but outdated medical equipment. You'll, on, on average, uh, you'll have a truckload a day, and in that truckload, you might have two or three pieces that are worth some money. The rest of it's recycle or junk. You know, some of these pieces of medical equipment, they might be 30 years old, you know, 20, 30 years old, uh, so outdated anymore that nobody's interested in that type of equipment anymore. Um, that might be something that gets sent to electronics recycling. Obsolete items that Surplus can't sell are sent to Midwest Electronic Recovery in Walford, Iowa. Further, outdated yet valuable items are auctioned off at Heartland Recovery in North Liberty, a company University Surplus started doing business with last May. The difference is, is that you know we 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 sell on average between five and nineteen thousand dollars a month through Heartland, whereas before we'd be lucky to make two or three thousand total off of that. Um, just because you're going nationwide and they're brokering that nationwide to companies compared to individuals. And what that does for us is, on average, uh, you know, we had a piece of equipment that uh, we would routinely sell here for 50 bucks. Um, because we just, you just don't know what the value of it is. Some of these things are so strange that you, you don't know what they're worth. Um, we sold that same piece of equipment for $4,500. So uh, we're, we're not taking near the stuff to the landfill that we used to. Uh, on the recycling side of things, uh, we've come leaps and bounds. Other vintage equipment finds residents in a more novel location, the UIHC Medical Museum, located on the hospital's eighth floor. A number of patients and visitors browse the galleries every day. The museum features historical devices like an x-ray machine from the 1930s and an iron lung used to treat polio in the 1950s. Unlike the machines sent to university surplus, the items on display here have no price tag. They are invaluable.